Hey, this is Lene. Welcome uh, back to another video on this channel. Today, I want to um, start testing the Donkey Channel Super System uh, that I coded in the previous two videos. And um, I already prepared everything here in the strategy tester. You can see in the settings, I um, selected the system. I will test it in Euro US Dollar, the one hour chart, starting from 2010 until 2022. So for over 10 years. And for the inputs, I chose like the default values, I think, that I... Um, uh, yeah, that are set in the in the programming. So if I start by clicking start in the in the lower right corner here, we will see that um, this opens a new window for us where we can then, whoops, no, I have to start it in a visual mode. So now we will open another window where we can see the program trading. So let me show to you real quick what it does and then I will show you the complete test. And after this, um, we will have a look at the results um, and talk about some positive and negative aspects of this Martingale functionality. So you can see here, um, directly after the first trade, we are already increasing the lot size. We are at 0.13 now. And yeah, the, the, the good thing is when we make a big profit like we did here, this will automatically push the uh, equity or the, the yeah the equity to a profitable um, area so let, let's just have a look here at the graph and see what this test does so you can see um, of course most of the time we are making really really good profits here um, let's have a look at this trade maybe so we saw that we just made a really big profit and I think it was because of this position. So you can see this is like the good aspect of this um, system, right? So we have um, this period of time here where we do not have a clear trend. So we increase the lot size um, starting from 0 0.1 uh, here, I think. Then, um, yeah, we lost, we lost, we make a lot of losses and then we are at 0 0.8. Two. Then we make a really big profit where we generate um, or where we win uh, 4,600 points. And this is with a really, really, really big lot size. So this is why we have this um, really huge win, which will, of course, boost your um, equity curve a lot. So this is like the main idea of this um, system, right? So we are building the lot size when we are losing and then we have like one or two trades where we have a really big uh, lot size and where we have a really strong trend and we can uh, capitalize on this. But also this is something I want to show you. Um, this is like the opposite case. When you have the situation that you do not get this like really big move and this is the problem that we have here. So you see we start at 0 0.1 again, then we increase the lot size by a lot. So yeah, I think um, I checked the code and I think the calculation is correct. But the problem is that here um, we just increase the lot size to um, too, too, uh, too much because, because we put so much weight on um, the trades that have a big lot size, they have such a huge impact on this lot factor. So here we lost um, 500 points with a multiple of 17, I think, and this had such a great impact. So the next position was open with um, a lot size of 19. So this is like far too much. Mm, so we should put some thing into the code to prevent this from happening. So, okay, uh, this is another backtest that I'm running now and I made some adjustments to the system. And um, as you can see here, I, will, I mean, I will explain you the changes that I made um, to the code later on, but let's have a look at the uh, backtest first. Uh, so, as you can see here, now we are not only working with the lost points, but we are also taking into account the lost money. And this is because, have a look at the changes that I made. Mm. I created a new variable here, which is a global variable, which is called lost money. 
And then um, in the onTick function, I didn't really make any change. The only change that I made here is that I print the lost money variable in the chart, in the uh, comment. And then I made a change to the update lost points function. So first of all, I created this variable here, which is position profit. This is a variable that I will use to... Um, uh, calculate the position profit and in this block here where we loop through all the deals of the position we then increase the position profit here for the in deal because the in deal this is not the deal where we exit the position but this deal still causes um, uh, costs because we have the commission so we increase the position points by using this plus equal uh, operation here um, with a value of history deal get double, then we choose our deal ticket and then we use the deal commission. So we add the commission to this uh, position profit variable. And when we found the exit deal here, we also increase the position profit variable or the value stored inside of this variable. This time we have a profit because the closing deal will um, hold the position profit or the position loss. So we add this um, uh, profit to the position profit variable then we add the swap costs so if we are holding positions overnight there might be swap um, costs or swap commissions and then we have the trading fees for this deal also so we add the position our deal commission again so now uh, after we looped through all the historical deals here we now have the position profit stored in this position profit variable then the next change that I made is here I commented this part of the code um, out where we put the weight on the um, lost points calculation. So I just removed this part pretty much and now we are just using the normal the normal lost points of every single position. So we are no longer putting weight on the lost points by um, taking into the account the position volume. But now we are just using the, um, uh, the, the, the points as they are. And what I now did is here, I update this lost uh, money variable and I add the position profit. So when you have a losing position, this value is negative. So the lost money value will decrease. If it is positive, the lost money value will increase. And then this is the last thing that I did. Now I check if the lost money is greater or equal to zero. So if this strategy made a profit in total since it was started. And in this case, I reset the lost money variable and the lost points variable. Because this is um, the moment, and we can have a look here. For example, here is uh, after we make a really big profit, the complete system is now in profit. So at this point, we reset the lost money and the lost points variable. And we start with a normal system, like from the beginning on. And yeah, this is how we um, can take the risk of these like really big positions uh, because of the multiplication with the uh, weight on the on the lot size multiplier away. Still, we can have a situation like here where we have a really long period where we do not see these big wins. And this is like still a main issue with the system. And this is a problem that we cannot really fix forever because this is just the trade that you make when you use um, a martingale functionality so you have a higher reward ratio or you expect more but of course you risk more and you always have to have to think about this when you trade it so um yeah this is pretty much what we do here is um in the program and you can see right now we should be at a high so yeah, we made a new high and you can see now when we are um, losing a trade, you can see we have the lost points here and the lost money of this trade. And um, yeah, the, the points uh, no longer have weight. So every, every position um, will have the same impact pretty much on the, on the lost points. Um, and yeah, the lost money counter is there to 
help us reset the lost points and the lost money uh, value once there is a big win. So for example, here I think um, we probably see a bigger win, um, which should be more than 150 euros. So in this case, we should reset um, both of these variables. So let's just wait until this position is closed. And um, yeah, so here we can see the last position made a profit of 190 something. So we reset the lost points and the lost money and we should see a new high in this uh, equity curve here. So this is what the system is doing right now. So now I will uh, start a new backtest without the visual mode. So it will be a lot faster. So settings, visual mode deactivated. I will start the test again for the period uh, 2010 up, uh, up to 2022. So for over 10 years. And we will see the results here in this graph. Okay, so this test is now finished. Um, looks quite good for this period, for these settings and for this symbol. Um, I have to stress that it is always a combination of all of these things because when you have a look at these risky systems, like we have one here, please do not underestimate um, situations like, like this where my mouse cursor is right now, so at around uh, the start of 2011, because there we already had a really big lot size. And this situation can quickly lead to a complete um, loss of your account. So in this case, everything went well. So this was a like really, 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 really good. Um, it would be like really, really good if you t uh, started this system in 2010 with these settings. You would make a profit of, I don't know, 250% over the last 10 years. You might even be able to increase the risk a little bit. But still, you never know what is um, laying in the future, what events are ahead. So always be um, yeah, responsible with a system like this. So yeah, let's have a look at the best backtest results. So you see, um, yeah, like we had a maximum drawdown of 41%. And um, of course, we are increasing the lot size. So the longer the drawdown lasts, the faster is it increases. So this is already a really risky situation. And again, we had this like at the start of 2011. And um, yeah, but still everything went well. We have a good profit factor. We have a nice profit. And uh, you can see like the big, uh, the, the largest profit was 3,800 3, and the largest loss was 1,100. So this is what the system is about. Like these really big profits after a period of losses. Um, the longest um, period of losses was um, 13 losses. And this is like, yeah, what the what the main risk is about, and the the biggest loss, um, like the biggest consecutive loss here is, um, I don't know, this is not really correct, I think, because, oh no, of course, uh, like the maximum drawdown can have some profits in between. Okay, so this might be correct. Yeah, just look at the key figures if you're interested, and uh, of course, do your own testing. And um, yeah, maybe I can also run a optimization now to see if we can find or if you can even generate like better results. But please understand, I do not want to over optimize it. I just want to see what is what or what would have been possible in like the best um, uh, the best scenario, but we will see some optimization results, I think, where the system crashes. So let's do op uh, complete optimization. Let's work on the inputs. I will work mainly with the lots factor and the increase points, I think. So we should start at, um, yeah, I think 1.3 should be the start because we already know that this worked and we can go all the way up to uh, maybe 1.6. Um, yeah, I, I, I'm just, um, do we even have to change the increase points? Because both of these, um, things work together pretty much. Yeah, but it still makes sense to change like the increase points, I think. So we can maybe just test three steps here, right? 
So let's go from 500 to uh, 1,500. So we have a total of 12 optimization runs and this is what I will do here now. So let's start this and in the end we will have a look at the optimization results. Uh, they will come in here. Also, um, always do your own testing, please. Check it in different symbols, in different uh, time frames. I'm always testing on the one hour time frame. There might be better time frames and test with different um, settings. And yeah, maybe let me know about your results in the comment section. And as always, let me know what you think about the system. Uh, I know it's kind of risky, but if you are okay with the risk, it's still a good opportunity to uh, trade. So let's wait for the optimization results and then we will have a um, yeah, feedback at the end. Okay, so here it is, the optimization results. Um, uh, the optimization is finished and we can see that um, pretty much what we expected. So if we are taking too much risk, the um, system will fail at one point or another. So you can see, especially of course, if we decrease these increase points or if we increase the loss factor too much, then it won't work. So you can see uh, only the tests where we have a high increase factor and a big loss factor or a, a small uh, loss factor and a little bit smaller increase factor. These are still okay in the tested period, but if we are taking too much risk, we pay for this. So um, this is something you always have to have to keep in your mind. But as you can see here, the first test, if we find the right settings for the right um, in, in, the, in the right time pretty much when we set up the system it can be really really profitable but out of these um, 11 or 12 test runs four of them completely failed and crashed the account so you lost all your money pretty much if um, you would have started with these settings but you would be able to make a lot of money if you have chosen, for example, this setting. So this is like really risky. Um, yeah, you can still make adjustments to the system, but um, every adjustment that you make, it will, I mean, you can make the system safer if you want to say so, but it will take away some of the profits. Maybe I can do another video on um, with this expert advisor um, tomorrow or the day after. But yeah, first of all, um, let me know what you think about these systems. Let me know what you think about it um, in the comment section below. This was the last test that I did here. Um, I mean, we could do this test here. This is like the, the first test. And if we run it, we will see like a really good um, graph here and this will be the last thing that I want to show in this video for now. So um, yeah, thanks for watching as always and have a great time trading and uh, programming of course. <laughs> thanks for watching and goodbye.